hi guys, it's Ivy again, and I wanted to tell you about Homestead Science, which is a new curriculum that's just come out. It's brand spanking new, and I love it. It is definitely the answer to many homestead homeschoolers' prayers, um, as a lot of us have been looking for something that will help us to teach our children the life skills and the lessons that we would like them to have. Um, I had come up with a farming and ranching curriculum on our, our own blog, Homeschool on the Range, as I'm sure you saw. It was free for subscribers um, last year, and it's, it fits the bill. You know, it kind of helps get started, but this, this Homestead Science from Homemade Revelation, this is definitely what I was looking for and didn't have time to create on my own all along. So let's peek inside. This table of contents shows that there are eight different units. Each of those units has about eight lessons. This is designed to take up um, an entire 36 week school year. There is a section for suggestions and tips for how to use it. And then it goes into chapter one. This is going to be your textbook portion or the teacher portion. It's divided into textbook, workbook, and answer key and I will talk about the other two pieces here in a moment. Now something that I like about this textbook is that it's written in a conversational tone. So as you're reading it out loud to your children or as your children are reading it on their own if they are um, older or if you're not doing this family style, it's going to feel just very laid back, very conversational, very relatable. And it starts with a little bit of history, talks about character, it's got in lesson one we have a project to build an electric fence. Now, you do not have to have acreage. You do not have to have a homestead to be able to do this curriculum. If you do, you're probably going to get more out of it, but you don't have to. There are a lot of projects you can do just in your kitchen or your living room. We talk about owning land. She tells us some vocabulary words. Now, I know that you can have your kids do vocabulary toward the end of the unit. I prefer to have my kids do vocabulary very first thing so that when they come across a word in the text that they're not accustomed to, they will have already looked it up and know what it means, or at least have some idea of what it means. Generally, I'm going to be honest, while the vocabulary words are in the workbook planner, usually since we do things family style, we will just sit down and talk about each of these words individually. Um, and then the kids can write it in their workbook as we go or later on as a review. In lesson one, we talk about homestead styles, monoculture versus permaculture. Now, our family has already done a short permaculture class, and we know that that's what we are using. Um, for the family farm, just, you know, basic, small, hobby farm, homesteader type things, permaculture is probably the way that you're going to be going. Talks about basics, land, water, fences, getting started. And all of this is still in unit one all the way through lesson eight, which is building structures. And then we get into unit two. So that's what unit one looks like in the textbook. In the workbook, which I also had printed in spiral bound. Now, if I had it to do over again, I would probably just get the textbook and the answer key in a physical format and a PDF or a digital version of the workbook planner. But I got everything digitally and uh, then I ended up having to print it all out and I did that, I think, if I remember right, because it was a little bit cheaper to get the um, digital set as a set. So all three of these as a set. Uh, in the long run, it probably still would have been cheaper for me to get two physical ones and one digital one. But, you know, you live in your own. You learn. Um, some people might like all physical stuff. But since I wanted multiple workbooks, one for each kid, I definitely wanted the digital version of the workbook planner. The workbook planner has your supply list, everything that you're going to need for all the chapters, all the units, um, everything, so that you can kind of plan ahead, make sure that you've got things on hand, because you might not have three feet of thin jewelry wire on hand, and you're going to need that for unit one. Now, not everything is that specific, um, you know, water, vinegar, salt, peppercorns, garlic, dill, food coloring, uh, mason jars, microwave, a lot of it is going to be basic around the house stuff. And the unit pages that go with unit one include making drawings, writing about building your electric fence project. Um, if you don't have 
acreage. You know, this is so that you can make up something and learn what these titles are going to look like. We have vocabulary word, lessons, um, Venn diagram. A lot of this is just to, you know, put into action, put into some writing to reinforce what you've been learning in the textbook. There's math included. There's science included. There's character included. History. Uh, it really covers a lot of different subjects in the course. of. It's called homestead science, but it really covers a lot of different things. Life skills is a big one that it covers. But there is a lot of applied math. And I have one kiddo that this is perfect for. He does not like math. I'm sure you have at least one kid like this in your house. Uh, he has no reason to like math. He sees no point in it. And so um, one thing that I like about this is that there are a lot of pages, such as this one here, um, that talk about applied math. This one uses geometry. There are some that use algebra. And it talks about why you need to know these math concepts. Now, I did get these printed from the Homeschool Printing Company, which if you're not familiar with, is a great company. Um, it's family run by homeschoolers and has been around for mm, about five years now. Um, they do have kind of a long turnaround, so you have to plan ahead when you want something printed, but they do a fantastic job at a great rate. So for the answer key, I opted not to have it put into booklet format. It's just very thin. Um, I had it printed off at the same place at the Homeschool Printing Company. And you can see that it tells you, you know, the letters. It's just a very basic answer key, but it's going to give you the information that you need, Mom, to help you grade things very quickly. So like you guys, I like to know how people are actually using the curriculum and not just the inside the curriculum. My chickens think that I've got something great to offer them. It is fall as I'm making this video and the herb garden is dying. This is what's left of our last round of Tulsi or lemon, on, lemon bomb. Um, but as we go through the homestead science, one of the things that my son and I are doing, because I'm doing it along with him and my other son is as well, uh, is we are taking the principles that we study each day and walking around our own property and applying them to our own property. Now, you do not have to have acreage. You do not have to have land to be able to do this, but you're probably going to enjoy it or appreciate it more if you have some land or if you have aspirations to have land. And if you followed us for any length of time, you know that once upon a time we were a traveling family and uh, then circumstances changed in 2019 and we had to come in off the road and uh, now we've got our pigs and our chickens and our goats and our cows and it's, uh, it's actually a lot of work. But if you have animals or if you even have access to a veterinarian, as you're going through the units, try to take the time to be around those animals or go visit with your local vet and see what principles you can apply from that. Because you're going to internalize a lot more, you're going to make more sense of it. Um, and this is definitely a hands-on curriculum, something that if you have hands-on kiddos, maybe non-traditional learners, learners who don't really like the whole sit in the seat and fill out book work or do computer work online all day, this is probably going to be a curriculum that they really enjoy. Even if you don't have space for a big garden, even if you live in just a small apartment, and as you can see, my garden has bit the dust because it's just that time of the year. This is the vestiges of it, and my fall garden hasn't come up yet. Even if you don't have space, if you have dreams, if you have any interest in the land or maybe doing something in the future, you will still get a lot out of this. And you don't have to have a lot of space. You can have a small patio garden. You can have just a few plants inside. No one says that you've got to have acreage to be able to start growing your own food, to be able to grow something pretty to look at. If you would like to try out Homestead Science, you can go to the blog post listed here, um, or maybe you're visiting this video from that blog post, and you will be able to peek inside a little bit more, see some different lessons, some different units, and then get a coupon code for 10% off any of your purchases at Homestead Science. And then you too can be on your way to learning about homesteading, life skills, and just a little bit of basic self-sufficiency. And let's face it, with today's economy, self-sufficiency is not a bad thing to be learning about. Um, and speaking of which, if you're into that, be sure that you come back to our blog at the very end of December where we will be announcing the word of the year for 2023. I think you're going to like it. Have a wonderful day, guys.